hello hello thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video it is Tabitha here so today is going to be a Dollar Tree haul I found lots of new goodies today which I'm pretty excited about didn't find really as much as I wanted to this week um, a few repurchases so let's just go ahead and jump over right on into it so the first repurchase I have is this mess mesh strainer from cooking concepts and it comes in a pack of two, a bigger one and a small one. The bigger one fits perfect in my sink because this is a beautiful apartment. Lots of, you know, it's a brand new apartment building. But the only thing they do not have is a garbage disposal. So I need something to catch all the crap. And the one I have now, I had it for like a really, really long time. Ever since these first hit the Dollar Tree. But it is time to get rid of that one. Usually I wash in the dishwasher, but it's just getting really old and, you know, a little grimy. So I had to go ahead and just replace it. Another repurchase is the Kids Premium Low Cut Socks. And this is like the kind of the no-show ones. Does it say it's no-show? It doesn't say it's no-show. It just says it's low cut. But this is a pack of three. If you guys remember my last haul, I said that Braylon needed some more socks. These kids are just growing like weeds. And yeah, all of his socks have just disappeared. So I got another pack of three. Just all white. Another repurchase is the... Scrubbing bubbles drop in since I have two bathrooms. I'll just use you know one for each bathroom and these literally do last a month you guys So I think that these are pretty much worth a dollar It's not something you have to put in every week into your toilet or every two weeks. It literally lasts up to four weeks So if you guys see these I think it's a good buy I think that that is it for the repurchases now on to the new finds so I was happy that I found this next item I had no idea it was even in Dollar Tree it is no I think I saw somebody haul these yeah this is the book bins so I got two of this like really cute like tealish color and I got two of the black ones because right now in the kids room I have the little you guys remember the storage containers I don't know what type of material that is the kind that kind of fold in uh, I have two of those in there right now, but heavy books, they're, they're starting to get kind of bendy and a little, you know, raggedy, but I, I figured that four would be good enough for their room, so that's where these are going. Okay guys, next up I found some stationary items. Now you guys know back to Dollar Tree, pretty much every store now has back to school, school supplies, already so only the middle of July, but hey, I, I can understand. So... I picked up a few things. Now you guys know I'm a couponer. I have tons of school supplies already. So I will be going to like Office Max and Target. Sometimes Walmart is not even cheap enough. So I did pick up a few school supply type items which will be in a coupon haul on Friday. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But yeah, sometimes Dollar Tree is just even not, it's not the best deal. So, but I did pick up a few things I thought that were cute that I, I don't think I would be able to find anywhere else. So this is the Jot Portfolios. It comes in a two-pack portfolio type of notebooks. And you guys know I love emoji type of stuff. So, and this might not even be emoji. This might just be some smiley faces. But still, I thought it was cute. And I thought you don't necessarily have to use this for a folder. You could use it, kind of repurpose it. So, uh, I'm not the best at repurposing things. But I thought, you know, for a dollar I would just get it just to try it out. That makes it 50 cents each. Which 50 cents for a folder is a little bit high. But... Considering that it's not just a regular folder, it's kind of it's got some type of design on it. So there you have that. Next up, you guys, I got the five pack of the cushy grips. I thought that the kids would like these for their pencils. I went ahead and just got two packs. I, fi I figured each kid could get like two or three of them, so I didn't feel the need to buy one pack per child. So got some different colors in there up you guys I found these must be new um this is the quality value gel pens it comes in a three pack and it has the zebra that must be the well this is green these are green briar pens but it has zebra on it so these are some different color ones it says soft barrel so I might do a quick Instagram video on these just to see how they write and I will let you guys know it probably will be up before the video or it'll be up sometime today today's Wednesday and I'm actually recording this on a Wednesday dollar for dollar tree Wednesday so yeah if any of you guys have used these and like it it says it's smooth comfortable writing 0.7 which is not too bad okay guys I didn't find anything new kind of in the food section really um I, but I did find these this is the Snyder's of Hanover uh, I said it right this time guys I usually say Hango hand over bow ties crispy baked pretzels and this is the parmesan garlic 
And usually it will have on here the retail price. Yes, it does. As you guys can see, it is normally $3.49. And it doesn't expire until November of this year. Obviously, these are going to be gone by then. But it says 1.5 grams of fat per serving. Let's see. A serving size is about 14 pretzels, which is not too bad. So I'm going to give these a try. You guys remember they had these Snyder's before in this same one, but they kind of, it was like a rectangular shape, kind of, kind of seemed like it was like hollow on the inside. I don't know if you guys ever remember those. They were in a really big bag, but I like those and they had them in Parmesan garlic. So I think this is definitely worth a dollar, you guys, considering that it was $3.49. And they had a few flavors. I went ahead and got the original. I do not remember what the other flavor was. They had like three flavors. But I went ahead and just got the original ones as well. I like how they have that there. You can put some stuff on it too. If that's what you want to do, but I'll probably just be plain. And again, $3.49, you guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. Guys, the next item, I think I saw someone haul these before. I'm not exactly for sure. But this is some slippers. It's called the Snuggle Feet by GMI Lady Slippers. It says one size fits most. And when I looked these up, they retail for $5.99, which is not too bad, you guys. So I went ahead and kind of got this print here. I know this is supposed to be like a leopard print. And they did have this exact same print, but it was the back of it was white and then the little spots were black. I got another pair. This is just all pink, but it's got some cute like little, it says soft and snuggly on the side. So they're really soft on the inside. I got some of these before on clearance at Walgreens for like 50, 60 cents. If you guys remember me hauling those, like in one of my clearance videos. But yeah. Okay guys, so in top of the thrift fashion, I always say the find of the week for last. Again, I found some pretty good things this week, but I was kind of happy to find these. So you guys know I love the sassy and chic nails. Um, I don't have any on. I haven't had any on in a couple of weeks because I have been doing hair. The kids have been going swimming, so I gotta wash it and you know, deep condition and do all that. I have to do my daughter's hair today. I know that is a lot. I just said, but yeah, I have to do my daughter's hair today. So I will probably put on nails either late today or tomorrow, depending on how I feel. But anyway, I'll let me get to it. So these are the nails here. Check this out, you guys. And I and I saw two. I went ahead and picked up two be my next set of nails y'all I'm not sure I have so many to choose from but I just really really like this so I was looking on Instagram and there are more sassy and chic nails I had no idea I think I don't know so I really appreciate you guys when you post pictures on Instagram of the things that you find in Dollar Tree because a lot of stuff I would have no idea was even in the Dollar Tree I only go to Dollar Tree probably once or twice a week really um, here in Minnesota, I know the days that they have their trucks, so I usually like to go on either a Tuesday, which I went yesterday, or I like to go on a Wednesday, because Tuesday, like, the trucks get in, so they're putting stuff out, and then Wednesdays, a lot of the stuff is already out, so when you go there, you can get the new stuff, so that's usually, you know, I don't like to go later on in the week, because all the stuff is probably going to be gone, so, but yeah. I thought that this was a great find. Okay, guys, so that was it for my Dollar Tree haul this week. Remember, you guys... I am going to go to Dollar Tree again. I'm probably going to go to one a little bit, a little bit further out. Um, well, it's really only about 15 minutes for me. But if I find anything, because I really want to use this coupon, basically 10% off of your entire purchase of $10 or more. It doesn't really say, it doesn't really have any other restrictions other than that. It says, of course, you have to spend $10. It says it's not valid on previous purchases, gift cards, green dot, prepaid cards, or reloads, or DollarTree.com orders. And a lot of times when they have coupons out like this, if they don't have them in your store, usually they have it on DollarTree.com. So make sure you guys check DollarTree.com. If you have a printer, you can go ahead and print it out as well. Because it says voucher must be presented at time of purchase and limit one voucher per customer. So basically, instead of paying a dollar for your items, it'll bring it down to 90 cents. Okay, same as the savings to me. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I appreciate you guys. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye.